What's up everybody, before we get into this video, I just want to show y'all my two brand new designs here. I got, I believe, seven more designs will be at the first or second link in the bio. It'll say like fitness tanks or fitness designs or something like that. And you could use code YouTube10 for 10% off everything on my website there. Uh, let's get to the video. Hope y'all enjoy. Alright, what's up everybody? Got another super helpful video for y'all here today. This one's a real one. This one's a real one here. I got the notes down on my phone here. This is how the mirror in the gym can mess up your self image and how to prevent it. Now, this is a real one. I think a lot of people, I've always heard uh, about the, the self image thing. So I'm gonna erase all that up real quick. So here's how the gym in the mirror, and it's probably not what you think. You know, a lot of people think, oh, you look in the mirror, you can see it, blah, blah, blah. Well, really, the, the mirror is very crucial in the gym because you check form and it is actually really cool just to watch your muscles work too. Um, but anyway, how this can mess up your self image is because of this. When you're in the gym, you're lifting, you get a pump going on, and you're looking juicy, right? Dang, some lightning just flashed over there. But you get in the gym, you get the pump going on, and it's like, you're looking and you're like, Oh man, I'm looking juicy as hell right now. You know what I'm saying? And you just, you just, I mean, you, it, you, you're thinking that, but it's like, yes, yeah, like you just, you love it. You know what I'm saying? And you get that good feeling, the endorphins rushing. You love the feeling. You're feeling good. Oh man, I'm looking huge right now. I'm looking jack. Yeah. Um. Now here's what the problem is. It's not necessarily in that. And I haven't even heard anybody ever talk about. It. It's just something I've noticed myself. It's when you leave the gym your off days and every other time when you don't have a pump and you see yourself well now you're smaller when you see yourself every other time because you're always going to be bigger with a pump a pump a pump will do a pretty big amount uh, getting a pump makes you look a good bit bigger so you know every time you see yourself oh you look this big or whatever just say just say you're 10 I'm just using numbers so I can see you're 10 and then every time you see yourself and any other time you check yourself you're like an eight because you're a little bit smaller because you don't have that pump so like every other time you check it's like damn i look small I look small and all these other pictures i look small I look small and then you get the gym oh yeah i look big i look big so uh how i erased that was i don't look in the gym every time in the mirror uh, I mean, I'll look in the gym pretty much every time if there's a mirror and I need to do it for like a certain exercise, whatever I'm doing, to watch the form and all that good stuff. But and anyth anyway, I normally wear hoodies every every workout just for the fact that it helps me warm up, uh, helps keep the joints uh, warmer so everything's safer. Um, so I'll use the mirror for just say form purposes, but not every workout will I take off my shirt or pull down my pants or pull up my pants leg and flex and look at like squads or just flex everything just to see how it looks. Uh, and it is important to do that because that's building my muscle connection of uh, flexing and all. It's gonna help you feel your muscles better when you work and it's just good to be able to know how to uh, showcase your body basically flex and pose it in an artistic way to showcase it you know what I'm saying somebody may have uh, nice muscles and all but they can't uh, pose it up and all it doesn't look it doesn't flow nice, you know what I'm saying? So that's one way. Is that's that's like an image. I feel like that's one reason a lot of people uh, may have that problem. That's one thing I noticed with myself. And I'm not nowhere like I don't have a problem at all or anything. Like that. I've just noticed the tendency of how every other picture I look at, I would think I'd be smaller, but then you get in the gym, it's like okay, yeah, I'm big. And it's like wait, no, I'm you know I look smaller here, but it's like you know what I'm saying. So it kind of it's a little bit of a, a, a screwball, a mind screwball there. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to touch on. Yeah, basically how to fix it, like I said, just don't don't be looking in the mirror every single time you're in the gym. Like take breaks from it every now and then pose and also do posing and stuff, look at yourself non-pumped. You know what I'm saying? Like when you regular check yourself out in the mirror and things like that and another way to ch another way to fix this um because basically what is that it's kind of like a uh 
it's a I'm trying to think of the word it's a it's not a real representation of yourself all the time basically while you're just looking at yourself in the gym you get this image of yourself you know your reflection back you look swole you look juicy and then every other time you see it you don't look like that so but it's like if you're constantly checking it that way it kind of starts to you start to kind of identify with that a little bit um another way you want to keep this in check and i've also i've heard it's a lot frank zane was actually somebody if you don't know who frank zane is uh he was like a golden era bodybuilder he was very known for like the uh, proportions and symmetry and all but one thing he said he used a lot uh, which I always advocate is super crucial. Uh, it's super good to look in the mirror. You want to. You want to be constantly assessing your physique. You know, trying to build it proportional. And uh, I like me. I have an artistic way. I'm trying to. I have a vision in my head exactly how I want my body to look. So I train certain exercises. I don't use certain exercises for certain reasons because it's not going to sculpt my body how I want it to. So it's very important to look in the mirror and all. But what's also very important is this right here. What I'm talking to is a camera why is that important or just taking pictures of yourself with a camera you can take it in the mirror but then go on and flip in that image because that's what you look that's what you really look like you know what I'm saying what other people perceive you out they don't see you know when you look in the mirror it's reversed so when you take a picture that's in the mirror and reverse it that's how others are perceiving you and it's not about what others think about your thing but it's about that's how you actually look you know what I'm saying you don't actually look like your reflection you look like the opposite of your the reflection so that's why it's super important this is another whole factor you throw this in there so start recording yourself flexing and that's one thing I do a lot with this um a lot of videos you know in the gym I'm if I'm flexing and stuff and it's not oh hey look at my muscles and all I mean it's part that some like so y'all can see I've got gains let me teach you how to get some gains but it's also a lot of it is let me flex in this video i know when i recorded this video so hey a couple months or after i'm done with this bulk or in this bulk or in a couple years so i'm curious i can go and look okay on this date i know i was this weight and i made this video on this date let me go see what i look like at this weight at this date oh i'm looking better now what i'm doing is working basically so or whoa i'm not looking as good now what was i doing then and that's why that's what's so important the tracker thing i can go back and see exactly my workouts i was doing i can go back and see exactly what i was eating on all those days so it's super important that way you're getting the actual aspect of what you look like so it's good to get them all it's not you know what I'm saying it's good to get those you want to get the mirror because there's pros and cons to everything but that's how you basically bust that uh the self-image whatever messing your self-image up basically uh by doing that and that's pretty much it. I hope that helps y'all. Um, see if I think of anything else really quick. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I, I covered that pretty good. That's basically the main things I wanted to cover, and that's what's that's what's going to help you if you are having any kind of problem, or if you know anybody with that kind of problem. Show them this video. Share this video with them. You know, send it to them in Messenger or whatever. Um, it, it's really simple. It's not like uh, it's like body dysmorphia kind of almost, but it's not so so that it might be a mild case of that, but. I feel like it's very easy to cure because I've noticed it a little bit myself and I didn't let it just run like crazy. You know, as soon as I noticed myself kind of doing that a little bit, you know, I start notice, okay, I, I got I got to get off that a little bit. That's, you know, getting a little bit too hooked on or whatever. I need to, like I said, bounce it back out so you're kind of getting a more realistic view of yourself where you're not always seeing yourself in this inflated mode, literally pumped up, and then every other time, uh, you think you look small and stuff and what you're gonna normally look like like 99% of the time yeah, You're in the gym one hour that day or four days a week however many days a week But majority of the time you're out you're gonna look like this, you know, the realistic thing. That's why it's good That's why I do my physique updates. I don't do them with a pump I just do it and a lot of times I do it in the worst possible condition like last time I did it I think I didn't train for like four or five days just got done walking or something like that so I like to put myself looking almost the worst or most realistic possible case scenario, especially on like my physique updates. Why? So when I go back and look, I can I, I'm present and I'm presenting to y'all a realistic look of what uh, kind of you can expect at this many years training or uh, I really just I'm just showing y'all what's real. I'm not getting a pump, getting under the best lighting. I do it. I go in there, I cut off the light, just let the natural light come in. So uh, it's about keeping it real with yourself mainly 
uh, but I like to keep it real with y'all as well to show y'all, you know, what's is actually looking like, and uh, you know, and then give y'all the knowledge to look like that, and how to keep looking better and better and better, basically getting closer to y'all's goals and dreams, and growing and being the best y'all y'all can be as I become the best me I can be. That's what this channel is all about, us growing together. So that's gonna be it for the video. I hope this helps. Like I said, if y'all know somebody who's kind of, or you think somebody's kind of in on that or you know got a little problem with that show this video to them uh it'll help them it helped me i've already been through it like i said i wasn't like crazy into it but i could notice it starting to happen a little bit and nip that in the bud real quick and learn these tactics to you know nip that in the bud basically so stay happy stay healthy ah go make y'all some gains i'm gonna see y'all in the next one peace out like comment share subscribe too it really helps the channel girl literally one single light right here you watch this video you hit the like button right there bam that helps the video so freaking much especially the comments like it's a whole algorithm thing guys like as soon as you like that video it's going to show my video to more people on youtube or if you like the video and comment now it's going to be that much more likely to show my video to other people you see what i'm saying so all right, that's why i really really that's why i always thank y'all for watching these videos i really really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed yet Go ahead and join the family. What you what you were scared of making some gains? You know what I'm saying? What you were scared of being happy and, and improving yourself? Come on now. That's what this whole channel is about. Let's get real. Let, let's grow again. You know what I'm saying? Let's live our dream life and be the best possible uh, person we could be. And let's uh, live a happy and fulfilling life. You know what I'm saying? Let's make the world a better place by making each other better. And uh, that's what it's all about. So again, I'm going to see you all in the next one. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you hadn't. Like I said, any like and comment and share and all that helps tremendously. Same thing with subbing, like everything. So appreciate all the love, all the support. See y'all in the next one. Peace out.